Hello, welcome to this next video regarding cryptocurrency mining with Linux uh, using Kudo Miner. So let's get started. In the last video, we were talking about how to go ahead and install um, the Kudo Miner slash worker into our Linux machine. The machine that I'm using is um, it has Linux Mint version 20 in it but it's also compatible with other Ubuntu and Ubuntu type operating systems. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, what I'd like to go over today is a little bit of uh, a little bit of information regarding the types of mining that you can do on your machine. So as of currently, and I will include this link in the description. Uh, as of currently, there's about four ways that you can still do crypto mining in 2021 as of February. So the hardware that you can use, you can use either a CPU, a GPU, an FPGA, or an ASIC. All right. For this video, we're going to just be using the CPU. Um, and the cryptocurrency, as I stated in the last video, that we're going to use will be Monero. That's the one that we're going to be mining for. And I also have that here. I will include this in, in, the, in the description as well if you want to do some further research. Uh, Monero is what is known as an open source um, cryptocurrency coin. Um, the reason why we're using Monero is because you can mine with your CPU. So anytime you got a extra CPU lying around that you are uh, not doing anything with, you can go ahead and use that extra time to mine Monero with your CPU. All right. So that's what we got there. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, configure our worker to run on our computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the start menu for Linux Mint. Left click on that. And then we're going to come over here to all applications. Now this may be different, especially if you're using a different uh, Windows manager like I am. I'm using Mate. Some people might be using cin Cinnamon. Some people might be using a whole different operating system like Ubuntu. But wherever it is, if you just come down here to your start menu, click on that, and then come here to wherever your applications is. And for me, I go under accessories. And then from there, you'll see Kudo Miner. And then once you left click on it, it should bring up a GUI. Give it a few moments here. It's uh, taking time because I'm using this on a... Um, probably because I'm, I'm also including my video on this. In either case, it comes up and you have this uh, dashboard. And this is the dashboard on your computer, right? Okay, now let's go back to our, uh, this is already installed. We'll go over the settings in just a moment. Um, so give me one moment here. All right, so you can go over the configurations right here. Again, let's go home. All right, and then over here on your left-hand side, you can go to configurations. All right, and we want to set a new configuration, so let's left-click on that. Okay, and now we're right here under this. This is similar to what you see on your on your uh, on the dashboard on your on your computer for Kudo Miner. We're just going to go over a few things right here. As you can see, you got third-party miners overclocking and automatically uh, enable new workloads. I have all of those enabled and turned on. All right. And then you come down here, and what you want to choose is CPU Linux. Okay. 
And then you left click on that. And then you come over here to Monero. You want to have enable enable workloads for CPU. And then you want to come down and have it enabled for this right here for Monero. Then you left click on it. Okay. And then you will see your settings here. Yours may not have anything in it. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and enable workloads for Monero. And then right here, all you got to do is choose CPU threads, the number of CTU cores that you want to use. Now, <clears throat> it is recommended that you never use more than 75% of your CPUs. So if you have four CPUs, you don't want to use no more than three. If you have six, you don't want to use no more than four or five, etc., etc. For this, for this purposes only, we're just going to use two. And then down at the bottom, if this is your first time, you're going to see the save configuration. So you go ahead and choose that. And then once you do that, you come all the way back out. Down at the bottom, you'll see save here too. Um, also, one other thing. Right here where it shows last state, you want to make sure it's choose, you choose visible. And then after you do that, then you go ahead and you click on save. Okay. And then from there, you can go back to home. All right. This shows you your current balance, your pending balance, and your total balance. And then if you go over here to the left again and click on devices, we'll see our device here. All right, and then we just go ahead and minimize that. And you should see the same thing here. If you do not, go over here to your left hand side, click on settings. We're already there. And then you want to go ahead and choose these settings, right? Enable third party miners, enable overclocking, automatically enable new workloads. This is where you can choose your CPU again. You want to choose visibility for startup visibility, pause in computer, pause on uh, battery. This is if you have a, uh, um, a laptop, which I am currently using. And then launch on startup, earn when started, all that's supposed to be there. So choose the same or similar settings. If you decide you want to choose something different, that's fine as well. Anyway, that's how you go ahead and um, set up the configuration for your computer so that it can run with a uh, Kudo miner locally on your system. So thank you very much. This is the end of this video. We'll have more videos in this series to come. Oh, and by the way, if you don't mind, I'll in the link as well, in the description li uh, link as well, um, I'll have a affiliation link for Kudo Miner. If you wouldn't mind helping me out by clicking on that and then joining Kudo Miner through there. Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys looking at this video and you have a good day.